Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about using it with touch, pencil, or mouse. So there's a lot that sets SketchUp for iPad apart from regular SketchUp Pro. But uh, one of the big things, of course, is the variety of tools you can use as input devices. Um, previously with SketchUp versions, you know, we always recommended a three-button mouse. And it could be used with a trackpad or a two-button mouse if you happen to have one of those. Um, but we really said, you know, it's, it, was, it was designed around the idea of using a three-button mouse. Um, iPad is similar in that it was designed around one input method, but it really opens up for a bunch of different ways to use it. So let's talk about those different ways right now. Okay, so first I got all, I got all my input devices here. I got my pencil, my, my finger, and my mouse. Uh, let's talk about using touch real quick. Uh, so if you have nothing else, so everything else disappears, all my input devices go away, I still have touch. I can always use iPad with just my finger. Um, this works real naturally for some things because it's like using a touch screen the way we're used to using a touch screen. So if I want to orbit, it's very intuitive to just, you know, drag my finger around to orbit in 3D space. Zooming, of course, is, you know, pinching to zoom. Uh, I can pan by just putting two fingers on. So it's real natural to use your fingers to do this sort of thing. But everything else that I can do in SketchUp can be done with my fingers as well. So I'm going to use the line command just as an example and click and go into line. And here I can just click and kind of do a hard press to start a line, hard press again to draw a line. Super simple. Uh, if I want to draw exact length, I can click on the length pop-up, use the keyboard to put in a length that I want to use. Very simple. The downside to using your finger, like I said, if, if it's all you got, it's what you should use. The best tool you have available to you is the tool you have available to you. Um, the downside to it, for me anyhow, is the fact that my finger unfortunately is not transparent. So as I move onto the screen and I go to, you know, draw a line, my finger is covering up the spot that I'm actually drawing to. Which, I mean, with inferencing is not too bad because I can probably, you know, get to that point and see when the line snaps. But I, I, because it's covering, my fin covering the point up, I can't actually see it until after I release. See there, I was close but didn't quite get it. So, not not a huge deal. It's not like a, a deal breaker. It's great to have. It's still pretty quick and easy to use. But um, there is that issue of not actually being able to see where you're clicking. Enter the Apple Pencil. So if there is a preferred method of input, I would argue that it's probably the pencil. The, a lot of work went into the UI and how to use it thinking that the primary input device would be this pencil right here. In fact, uh, there's two different ways to use the pencil. So I'll just mention this real quick before we go any further. If you go into settings, you have the option of choosing click, move, click, or just draw mode for your pencil. So these do function a little bit differently. So if, if I, um, I'm going to go back into, oops, go back into pencil here real quick. And uh, the way the just draw mode works is you click to draw a line, you release to finish it. And then I'll pick up that line by clicking over here and then dragging that to where I want it to be. Very simple, very easy. It's kind of intuitive. It's, I mean, like the name says, just draw, grab it, start drawing stuff. Very simple. And we're only talking about line. We'll go into each of these commands and how the pencil works with it in, in, in their own videos. But right now, I just want to mention how that works. Alternatively, of course, you can switch to click, move, click, which still uses the pencil but it's probably a little closer to what you would be used to if you were, uh, in, if you're used to inputting with a mouse. Where here I would go, okay, click to place a point, and then move my mouse around. And when I found the point I want to go to, then click and hold again to put that second point. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, click release, move your mouse, click release, as we're used to on SketchUp Pro. Same thing happens here, where I can go, okay, move this around, and then when I find the spot I want to click to, click there. So either way, using the mouse, pretty intuitive, or I'm sorry, using the, the pencils, fairly intuitive, easy to do, but know that there are those two modes if you're using the pencil. And you'll, if you use both of them, it'll be obvious which one you like, but both of them work uh, extremely well. Like I said, kind of designed around that. Now, because of the wonders that are Bluetooth, you can use an iPad, SketchUp for iPad with a mouse as well. 
This works pretty much exactly the same as SketchUp Pro. So right here, as I move it around, I'd like with a line specifically, I'll click to place. Um, I can use the, the middle button, so it's a three button mouse. I can use that scroll wheel to animate or orbit just like I would if I was using uh, SketchUp on a, a computer. Really nice. The downside here, of course, is uh, if this was just sitting on my lap, if I have my iPad on my lap and I was, I don't know, on a train, airplane, sitting in a seat, whatever, um, I have to make room for my my mouse, you know, because that's mouses don't work in air. They have to have a thing to sit on. So um, an awesome method of input, no question, but uh, it does require, you know, place to use a mouse. Um, I'm going to go out and say that if you have the mouse and you're used to using SketchUp Pro, it's a good way to get in there and, you know, use it. If you're new to SketchUp and haven't used Pro before, then I will argue for using the pencil and touch. In fact, even if you know Pro, if you want to get the most out of this platform and this device, pencil combined with touch, what I mean by that is do my input with my pencil. So there we go, just draw a line like that and then flip over to your fingers right here to maybe orbit around and then, you know, come in here and draw the next line, orbit around and then zoom. So I'm doing that with my finger. All this is one handed too. Some people like to get the second hand in here and this hand is maybe responsible for tapping different commands and maybe orbiting there and I keep this mouse just for drawing. That can work too. The nice thing is you have all these options available to you. You have two hands, pencil, mouse, whatever you need to do, find the way that works best for you. The most important thing to know there is you do have options. So that's the things I could think of high level. I didn't go into every command because, you know, they do work differently with the different pencil modes and finger versus mouse versus but that's what this series is about. We'll get into each of those commands and we'll try to touch as much as possible on where there's differences with different input devices. But like I said, the important thing is that you get in there, try the different devices, see which one works best for you. You got a lot of options and uh, the best one, like I said, is the one that you have available to you and it works best for you. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Which input device do you like? Have you not used it before and looking forward to using one specific? Let us know. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.